So in this tutorial we will look at different analysis tools in Grasshopper and you can analyze geometry like points, lines, planes, um, surfaces, boxes, uh, B-reps and then actually extract uh, either data like dimensional data or geometric data um, from those analyses. So the first one we'll look at is just the distance so I'll, I'll just create two points in Rhino and then I'll bring those points into Grasshopper I'll just set one point, select the first point, set one point and select the second point, and then bring up the distance component. And the distance component is located under vector point. And you can then plug in point one to A and point two to B at a panel. And then we can see the output of that panel is the distance between those two points. Another useful one is curve uh, length. So I'll go ahead and draw a curve in Rhino. And again, you could get these, you can analyze any geometry, so it doesn't have to be contained geometry from Rhino. You could also, also build geometry in Grasshopper and analyze the geometry that's constructed entirely in Grasshopper as well. So we'll bring in this curve. I'll set one curve, and then we'll do curve length. Curve length is located under curve analysis and you'll see under curve analysis there's a lot of different ways you can analyze geometry and so again some of these output data like dimensional data for example curve length uh, but other ones actually output geometry so where does a curve uh, like a frame along a curve or a point along a curve puts an actual point a geometry along that curve and we'll talk a little bit about that one later um, so we'll plug curve into curve length copy and paste this panel you can see the length of that curve is 332 inches in this case because my units in Rhino are set up as inches. Okay, the next one we'll do is the area component. The area component is really a great and really useful component. It basically gives you the area of something and also the centroid of that thing, so the center point of it. Um, so if we just draw a curve, and to get an area you need a closed shape, um, otherwise it doesn't have an area. So I'll just draw this closed uh, curve here. And we'll bring this curve into a new curve container object and then we'll plug that into our area component and you'll see it'll actually create a point at the centroid of that geometry. It'll also give you the area of that curve, that closed curve, so 3,899 3, in this case. Um, you can also use area on other kinds of geometry. So for example, if I have a surface, let's go ahead and just copy this um, curve over and then I'll just move this around a little bit so I'll give it some kind of vertical vertical dimension and then we'll just quickly do a loft between these two and let me change my display to ghosted so I have this surface here if I bring this surface into a surface param set one surface and do area you can see it'll also work on a three-dimensional surface. So it'll find the centroid, which is right there, and it will give you the area of that surface. This also works for three-dimensional geometry. So if I have a box in Rhino, and I bring that in as a B-rep, so I'll set one B-rep, um, uh, and then also use the area component, it'll find the centroid and the area of that geometry as well. So let me do a point here and bring that point out. So let me hide this so you can see it better. There you go. So there's the centroid of that three-dimensional volume as well.